Good evening, good morning, whenever you're watching this, welcome. I'm Gaston the Ginger, and today we're going to be covering a sensitive subject. Now, as one must always do, apparently, when covering said subject, I must disclose to you that I have no problem with the trans community, with the trans folk. If you're an adult and you want to transition, then by all means, do you, boo boo. But if you're a child and you want to transition, no, sorry, we're not going there. And in today's video, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you one really disturbing story, then one mildly disturbing story, and then one just outright silly story. Now, what do all these stories have in common? Trans kids. Lately, I've been retweeting things that I want to talk about in my videos, and then once the camera is on, we go to my Twitter and we go through them together. If you're not already following me on Twitter, Come on, you're missing out. Gaston the Ginger, follow me on Twitter. Look at these beautiful puppies. Look at this picture. Lawyer, YouTuber, political commentator, fighter of woke culture. That's all you need to know. Now let's move on to the stories of the day, beginning with cultural husbandry, one of the best Twitter follows out there. Now when I first read this story, heard this story actually, and it's detailed, it's a sexual assault story, and these type of stories really make me feel violent inside. Now, thankfully, it was right before my workout when I heard the story, and I was able to get rid of all those horrible feelings and energies that I have after hearing the details. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you the most important parts of the story because while I think it's very important for us to know about it, I don't find the desire nor do I think it's necessary for me or you to go through the details again if you don't want to. Now here's the story, you can go through it if you want. I'm not going to go through it in this video, but here's the important part. American reality, trans boy rapes girl in school bathroom. Dad arrested at school board meeting for talking about it, the dad of the girl that got raped. Gag order placed on dad. Dad used as an example of domestic terrorism by DOJ. Trans boy allowed back to school, promptly rapes again. The, 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 the level of depravity of the story, there's no, there's no words. It's so disturbing. I was so enraged when I heard the details. So we're not going to go through the details again. But I wanted you to know what's going on with the way here. Oh, uh, trans people in bathrooms, it doesn't matter, nothing. No, yes, it does matter. People are getting sexually assaulted in high schools. A 14-year-old girl in ninth grade. And then he did it again. And you know why? You know why the London School County Board hid the story? They put it away? You know why? Because they wanted to pass a law. They wanted to pass an ordinance saying that trans kids should be able to go in the bathroom that they chose to. And this little event here went against their cause. So they put it under the rug. And the kid assaulted again. Now, see, I'm getting mad again. So we're going to move on. We're going to move on to another story about trans kids. But this one's not that disturbing. However, it is quite alarming that this person right here on the screen gets to be a mother. Let's take a listen to what she has to say. Her pediatrician for the first time since she has come out as trans. I called ahead to give them a heads up and they assured me everything would be okay. Um, when I got there, it was. By the way, she's talking about her little child coming out as trans. I must say this. When I was four years old, I came out to my parents as an assassin. They, they laughed at me. They said, Nope, you ain't no assassin. And look at me now, a lawyer, completely opposite. So this woman should really not really pay attention to what her child has to say. It's not okay. When we brought up the subject of puberty blockers, which we were just asking for information at this point, the doctor said, oh, I do not have any trans patients and I don't know anything about that. But then proceeded to ask questions such as, have you researched people who regret transitioning? N no. No, I haven't. Wouldn't you think that's the first thing you research if your kid is trying to transition? And she's trying to make it seem like a doctor's the bad guy from, for pointing this out to her. Unbelievable. That's not really my concern right now. My concern is to make sure my child doesn't turn into a statistic and unalive herself because she's not being loved and validated. So the reason of this woman is she's not going to do the research because she's scared that her daughter will analyze unalive herself youtube speak woman do your research or your daughter will unalive herself the statistics are appalling of people who detransition de de or regret the, the decision my goodness do your 
the least you could do is do your research, right? I mean, it's your child that we're talking about. My goodness. Okay, now this story has nothing to do with trans, but I thought it was, I thought it was really fascinating. Take, check this out. Jen Psaki, the woman who gives all redheads a bad name. It doesn't prefer then one avenue or the other. The president wants to make fundamental change in our economy, and he feels coming out of the pandemic is exactly the time to do that. And if we... The president wants to make fundamental change to our economy, and he feels that coming out of the pandemic is a great time to do that. <laughs> Never let go of a crisis. It's a great opportunity to change things as you wish. Do it now if we don't address uh, the cost of child care. To go back to Josh's question earlier, if we don't uh, address the climate crisis, if we don't ensure that universal pre-K is a reality now, uh, we're, we're not going to have the same opportunity to do it for some time. The president doesn't prefer... So Jen Psaki is admitting that Joe Biden is indeed trying to fundamentally, some may say radically, are they synonyms? I think so change the economy does that mean he wants to have a communist economy socialist comment down below there was one more oh another weird story that has nothing to do with it well in australia apparently it's illegal to get uh, sun he's not an essential reason to be outside i'm requesting your idea you heard it from the kappa sunbathing is not an essential reason to be outside because that's what tyrants say Tyrants say when you can and cannot be outside. And that's Australia. Soon we'll be in Canada. And then maybe, just maybe, here. But probably not. Because we have a constitution. And where is that last? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this one was fantastic. Let me unzoom a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Do you think that parents should ask their children's consent when they are babies to change their nappy? Is this not sexual? Sexualizing. A nappy is a diaper, by the way. I didn't know. Interaction between a parent and child. Because I'm, actually, yeah. it's just a parent's job to change a nappy, isn't it? It's just a normal, natural, innocent thing. I, I'm very confused about how this would become a sexual issue. So, for it because example, you're talking about consent, which is implying but, but that parents is, are doing something no, no, which no, no, is no. non-consensual. There's nothing sexual about consent. If I was, was all right, they both have a point here. The weird blonde lady that wants to for you to ask your baby for consent to change the diaper, she's crazy. That's ridiculous. But the other lady, this isn't necessarily sexualizing the whole event. You know, consent is not really just a sexual thing. Like asking for your consent from a baby who doesn't speak. You, I would love to give you a hug. Mm. I would wait for you to communicate with me because whether that's two about adults. Well, it's even a, more important to do it with a baby. You're building a baby's baby can't brain. Respond. And also, have, you had, you're have, you, building, have you got kids? Of course. I've worked How many, with how many children. have you got? I've got one and I've fostered and I've Talk been a child Talk me through the conversation you had with your three-month-old baby about consent. How did it go? It, it, it would have gone. I just need to change your nappy now yeah. to make you comfortable. And your three-month-old baby said what in response? Of course, <laughs> we would know that a three-month-old baby can't speak. Ugh. Babies communicate mm. all the time. Now, how did Not... your baby tell you that it was giving consent? A boy or girl? A boy. Or gender fluid? Which one? <laughs> a boy. A boy. So how did your little boy... <laughs> now he's just provoking. Or oh, gender fluid. That's the good one. I might start using it. But we can move on from this one. You get, you get the idea of it. Weird woke lady says you need to get consent from your three-month-old baby to change their nappies. And finally, our last trans story of the day from the governor of California, Gavin Newsom. This is the... Well, I'll just leave that for later. California Governor Newsom signs bill mandating general neutral toy section. Why? All right, we're not going to read this. Never mind this. We're done with this. Why do we need a gender-neutral story section? Oh, so kids don't realize that there are two, two different genders. But wait, there are two different genders. In fact, gender is a fact, is what Dave Chappelle said in his special. Then the woke are trying to cancel him over. In fact, that's one of the phrases that we have a problem with. Gender is a fact. It is. Dave Chappelle said it, and I said it. That's all you need to know. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you like the video, share if you want. I greatly appreciate it. I'll 
see you next time.